Good morning, Joyce. Rachel, uh, I oh, you startled me. We keep those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hell raiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would race each other to grab them from the stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Eggs and milk? No problem. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. The eggs always come first, as Trace used to say. Come on, Max. Find those ingredients so we can chow down. Now for the mother's milk. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We're on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? God, I hope so. She was, is smart. She always landed on her feet. Maybe I don't know her as well as I thought. Maybe Chloe doesn't either. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? What? No way. I know I was selfish when I left. I'm glad Chloe found a better friend. No, just a different one. Last time I saw you and Chloe in your pirate outfits, I knew she would never find a better friend. I just wish you could have stopped Chloe from getting busted by David for that joint. I know. But it seems like Chloe and me were pirates a thousand years ago. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, you. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. Famous for this? I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Seeing you again? Ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. 
My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this. And... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's got to be happy shit. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Nothing to see here. Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military padlock. I can even see the combination that might be a useful password. This ID number might work. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car.
wrong. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. Why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. Tell Chloe about this now. Just one more thing to make her sad. And mad. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Leave that alone, David. Stop threatening. He has with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Start, Chloe. Start, Chloe. Not now. why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hate your stepdaughter. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing drugs. Take this kind of interrogation. 
Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh. You're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm up flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Chris doesn't hate me for tearing into David. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. You understand? Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything. For his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shitballs. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. No reason to go now.
no reason to go now. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping get down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Black Bull Academy. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. Makes me sick thinking about it. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh, oh look, Max Amber. Is that your punk rock girl outfit? That was classic watching you turn on your everyday hero Jefferson yesterday. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. No worries, because you're the one trying to fake it till you make it. At least you were smart enough to keep your big mouth shut in the principal's office. Your sugar daddy will always protect you and threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole! Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face! <sighs> Holy shit, what do you want now? I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. What can I do for you, Max? Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell. With Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. And to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs. Kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. David Madsen is looking for that gun. He might show up on your RV step. Oh, I'm trembling. I don't need to take his little museum piece. but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the dog? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even make you get any dog shit. 
besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're, you're worse than a junkie, Max. No fix for you. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. Key brought. Now back to Chloe. Watch out! What's thinking, Max? How are you? Well, I'm homeless. Otherwise, yeah, fantastic. Who are you? Max. Can I get you something from the diner? I heard a guy that her mom almost jumped on the flat of the roof. Katie Marsh. I was amazing if we could actually put her down from the roof. That was what you do? I had a ball on the Crazy. 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 Crazy.
bad motions in the air this week. But thanks for the warning, Max. Should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw! Get the tree, tree, boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Richard Priest. Oh, we could go everywhere in this bad boy. You need to go down the coast of Big Sur and beyond. Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. Can you dare me to drive that you dared me to kiss you? Chloe, we're on a schedule. You scope the area while I get for info. Frank is almost made for TV horror. This place is nasty. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Yuck. This is almost as good as a set of keys. My blade will open any part. Whoa, what the hell is he doing with that dog? Stop it. No more secrets. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Trouble in paradise.
that makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed. You bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything I blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Grow up! God, you're not the only one in Arcadia Bay with problems. Kate Marsha almost... Yes, Kate Marsha almost killed herself. Such sad, okay? Make me feel any better about my fucked up life. I get it. So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello. I blame William? Really? Yes, I do. You're damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. It's because she wanted to ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? He never does. No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Oh my god, what is happening now?
Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a camera. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Oh, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well, I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Hands, Daddy. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I Who that far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them. Crickles. I'm 18 years and old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat. How? We. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. I am when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Whoa! It's all blurry it. here. Like I can't step out of the photographic. I have to stop William from taking his car today. I have to rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious... Groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. Ro Chloe was so into manga. Nice hair. What a mess we made. I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the state mart. She don't have me. Now I'll have an excuse to get mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies, I have to go rest. I'll let her know that. Remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. Boom. Disconnected. So 
Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. Yes, here's the two wheels number. Now I can warn Joyce. Could I please talk to Joyce Price? Oh, she left? Damn. Uh, are you sure? Okay, sorry. Thanks. Mom said it depends. That's true. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am when your mom is away. I forgot about this. Back to the White House. I know that. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast on. You are on. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar! You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Aha! You can't hide from me forever! He's right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release, Release the keys. keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh, yeah. The bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes, and, and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries and... And it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome.
dollars for a concert. I've heard it's a vortex of parties are wild. Dude, the service fee is like 50%. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. going to be sweating cold every day. But Never, like Maxine. So that's why she was laughing so hard. I know, sorry, Mad Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Yeah, it's people in Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke a peace pipe? I think Max is hot. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? Max Caulfield, taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor!